Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by a professional team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial using boilerplate. This is our part number 35. Inside this video session, guys, we will see about sort codes concept at front end page. If I back to editor or before editor, if I back to browser, now this is the layout of the front end page what we have seen in the previous video. This is all about header, this is all about WordPress footer and here is the static content we have provided. Inside this video we are going to implement about the content concept using sort codes. It means that in between header and the footer this is our static message. Now we want to implement about, about this content section using sort code. Back to editor go inside this public folder inside this partials folder and here is the layout we have provided so right now we have a static content so i'm going to remove all this content let's say that here adding sort code to the page and we have a wordpress function inside this video we are going to discuss about two WordPress functions called do sort code as well as add sort code. So if we type do sort code and inside this we need to specify a sort code and that sort code should be defined inside this plugin or anywhere inside this WordPress setup. So let's say that render my content so this is the simple sort code that we have rendered inside this page. Now inside this do sort code function, here is the syntax we have passed for the sort code, sort code content and it is wrapped inside square bracket. So here if we write one line comment, so do sort code is the function which is used to render content of sort code. Now next, we need to define this sort code inside this plugin. If I go to the includes folder and the main file of this includes folder that is here it is. So if I scroll down and inside this we have a function remember define public hooks. Scroll down to this method and this is all about define public hooks. Now inside this define public hooks, I am to define add sort code function. So let's add sort code and inside this the first parameter should be the sort code name. So remember this is our sort code. So copy and I am going to paste inside the first parameter of this function. Inside the second parameter we need to define the callback function callback function means the content render function so let's say that by the help of this plugin public object we are going to call a method and let's say that simply load book tool content and if I copy the function name go inside this public folder and here is the file open up this file scroll down and I need to paste let's say public function and this is our method name now inside here if I write for now let's say this is my sample content by sort code if we save all these changes back to browser and if I reload this page, now here is the content. Remember, this time this content is rendered by using our sort code. So instead of this simple message, we can also include a layout template for this. We can use the concept of PHP buffer to include the template inside this method. So let's say that ob start. Next function we have called ob get contents 
and next we have called OB and clean now here let's say that we have variable called template and inside this template we are reading all the contents from this buffer before that we need to store the content inside this buffer so let's say include once and we are going to include the template inside this so if I back to the plugin main file because here we have constant copy the constants because this time we are going to include a PHP file so here it is and next we have to go inside this public folder let's say partials folder and after this partials folder let's say that we have if I create a new file here save this file let's say that tmpl or simply let's say book tool content.php if we click on save button this is the created file here it is and I need to provide the file name here so simply if I copy this variable and echo it so here we have a started PHP buffer included this file so that all the contents of this file should store inside this buffer what we are using and by the help of this ob get contents these are the php functions called ob start ob get contents ob and clean so we have read all the contents from buffer and simply print it inside this output screen again go to this file and let's say that welcome to online web tutor if we save all these changes back to browser reload this page and as we can see that this is the message what we are entering by using the concept of sort codes so keep in mind about the two functions of wordpress something do sort code which is used to render content of applied sort code and next we need to define this sort code so the basic syntax to define any sort code in WordPress by using add sort code function. This is a WordPress function. Here is the first parameter as the our sort code parameter and here is the callback function. And by using this callback function, we have implemented it here and inside this we have simply added a layout. And inside this layout, we can provide our own content for the sort code. So successfully guys, inside this video, we had seen about the sort code concept for the front end page. If you have any doubt inside this video session guys, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.